Hi friends, if you like my videos, if you like my explanation, please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. Hi friends, my name is Farindra. So in this video, I am going to explain you about MHC, Major Histocompatibility Complex Molecules. And in this video, I am going to explain you about MHC uh, and its types and also the differences between those types. Okay, coming to the MHC major histopathy complex, it is a set or as a cluster of genes that code for cell surface proteins, which is essential for immune system to recognize foreign molecules in vertebrates. So here, if you see here, what is the main function of this MHC molecule to recognize the foreign molecules? Foreign molecules uh, means foreign molecules, matlab. Uh, antigens foreign antigens in a simple words to say foreign antigens only in the vertebrates but not in the invertebrates it is very important to remember uh, this major histocompatible molecules will receive this foreign antigens in only in the vertebrates but not in the invertebrates okay so now let us know what is meant by this msc molecules from where is this msc molecules will get arised okay so uh, normally this is the apc antigen presenting cell and uh, you can take the examples of antigen presenting cells as macrophages uh, dendritic cell leukocytes Okay, and uh, leukocytes are nothing but white blood cells, which we all of us know that. And here, when the antigen, foreign antigens, foreign molecules, when the foreign molecules or as foreign antigen will enter into the antigen presenting cell, then what happens? Normally, this antigen presenting cell consists of vesicles. Here, these all of these are vesicles, and which is the vesicles? MSC molecules will be present. This blue color one, which I have drawn here inside the vesicles, are known as MSC molecules. So, when these antigens will or the foreign antigens will enter into this. Uh, uh, APC antigen presenting cell then what happens is that these vesicles will open and when the vesicles will get opened then this MSC molecule will receive these antigens will get binded over with this antigen okay like this and here uh, every every vesicle will get opened and this happens in the first step coming to the second step what happens when this uh, when the when they both interaction takes place then the that's nothing but when the antigen and the msc molecule interaction takes place then what happens the total vesicle will start moving towards the cell membrane towards the cell membrane like this it moves towards the cell membrane each and every vesicle will move towards the cell membrane then what happens uh, that from the vesicle it leaves the vesicle the msc molecule leaves the vesicle and will be exposed towards the immune system uh, that's nothing but will be exposed out, outside the environment of the immune system on the cell surface Okay, it will be attached to the cell surface only, but it will be exposed outside. Okay, like this, like this, along with the antigen, along with the antigen. Okay, the, this happens in the second step. So coming to the third step, what happens? This uh, MSC molecule will be recognized by these T cells or T helper cells. Okay, T cells or T cell helper cells with the help of T cell receptors. Normally, this T cell and T helper cells has a capacity to produce T cell receptors. TC are nothing but T cell receptors. And with the help of these T cell receptors, uh, it recognizes these MSC class 1 molecules or class 2 molecules. And normally, this with the it's, it's T cells are, uh, are also known as CD4, CD8 plus cells. CD8 plus cells. So, this T cell uh, will release CD8 cell receptors. So, with the help of that CDL8 cell receptors, uh, it binds with the MSC class 1 molecule. And if the MSC class 2 molecule will be exposed, then it will bind with TS cell, T helper cell. So, when the cla MSC class 1 molecule is exposed towards outside environment, then it binds with T cell. So, when MSC class 2 molecule will be exposed, it binds with T helper cell. So, this is the how uh, MSC molecule will be arised from the cells, uh, which one antigen branding cell. Okay. So, now let us discuss about the types of this MSC molecules. So MSC molecules are of three types, MSC class 1 molecules, MSC class 2, MSC class 3. So if you see here, uh, I am not going to explain you about MSC class 3 molecule because uh, if you if, if you want to know about this MSC class 3 molecule, you have to watch the video of the complement system. I will make this video of this on this topic of, of complement system later. Uh, but in this video, I am going to explain you about MSC class 1 and class 2. I am not going to explain this class 3 because if, uh, if I explain you a complement system, then only you can understand this MSC class 3. But if I explain this MSC class 1 and class 2, you can understand by yourself only by explaining these diagrams along with the diagrams. Okay. So coming to the MSC class 1 molecule. So this is the diagram of the MSC class 1 molecule. So coming to the structure of the MSC class, MSC class 1 molecule, major histocompatibility complex class 1 molecule. Okay, normally this is present in the nucleus containing cells. Nucleus containing cells in a matlab, that's nothing but antigen presenting cells. Okay, uh, so if you see here, this uh, MSC class 1 molecules consists of two chains alpha chain as well as the beta chain. Okay, alpha chain and the beta chain alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3, and beta 2, beta 2 chain. So if you see here, normally this alpha, alpha chain will be coded with chromosome number 6 
at the gene part and here this beta 2 chain will get binded with or as we get coded with the chromosome number 15 okay at the region of the chromosome number 15 so normally this uh, this uh, this is a basic thing which you have to remember and normally this the bond which is present between alpha and beta chains is non covalent bond it is non covalent bond so normally the this abc class 1 molecule consists of four regions so what are those regions membrane digital domain membrane proximal domain transmembrane cytoplasmic tail so uh, if you see here this is the antigen presenting cell which i have said you here this is the antigen presenting cell um, normally uh, this antigen presenting cell uh, from the antigen presenting cell only the msc class 1 molecules will be protruded out or else it will be exposed towards outside like this but it will be attached to the cell membrane only i have said you there it will be attached to the cell membrane only okay like this so here this is the lipid layer okay membrane layer that's nothing but this is the membrane layer uh, which is attached towards the cell membrane membrane layer okay from within that membrane layer only this msc class 1 molecule will be uh, arranged will be uh, you know will be developed not only in the msc class 1 molecule in the case of msc2 also like this only uh, this type of phenomena this type of nature only will be okay so coming to this first first layer membrane digital domain so this is normal this is the regions all of these are four regions membrane digital domain region so this all it consists of alpha and alpha 2 so this region is said to be as which i indicated with flower brackets only this region is said to be as membrane digital domain and it consists of alpha and alpha 2 chains coming to the second second region membrane proximal domain it is present below the membrane digital domain only so this flower bracket which i indicated with flower bracket uh, this one is known as membrane proximal domain okay so here it consists of alpha 3 and beta 2 chain beta 2 chain and this beta 2 is combined with chromosome number 15 as i said before only and if you see here this is a lipid layer lipid layer is nothing but uh, which is present in the cell membrane so normally this tail uh, you should not say it as a tail this part of msc class 1 molecule is present in the cell membrane region so it is uh, so it this region is named as transmembrane so it has been present in the cell membrane region only so you have to name it as a transmembrane okay so coming to the fourth region cytoplasmic tail so coming to the fourth region cytoplasmic tail so if you see the the region of this msc class 1 molecule will be get inserted into the cell so if you see here this region is known as cytoplasmic cell it will get inter inserted into the cytoplasmic tail so sorry cytoplasm region so this tail which has been inserted into the cytoplasm region are known as cytoplasmic tail okay so normally this is about the structure of the msc class 1 molecule and one of the important thing which you have to remember here is so if you see here this is a prepared binding cleft so this is very much important because the most differ the main difference between msc class 1 and class 2 will be differentiated by this only peptide binding cleft only so if you see this is the peptide binding cleft and this peptide binding cleft is closed type because there is no opening side it get binded between both sides so it is closed type and the size of this peptide binding cleft is 8 to 10 amino acids combination by combination of 8 to 10 amino acids this peptide binding cleft will be uh, formed okay so this is about the msc class 1 molecule structure so now let us discuss about the msc class 2 molecule so now let us discuss about MSC major histocompatibility complex class 2 molecules class 2 okay so if you see this is the structure of the MSC class 2 molecule so this MSC class 2 molecule consists of peptide binding cleft and here the peptide binding cleft is open type whereas if you see in the case of MSC class 1 molecule the peptide binding cleft is closed type okay and the size of this peptide binding cleft is 12 to 25 amino acid combination by the combination of 12 to 25 amino acids this peptide binding cleft will be formed and it is open type okay so normally this consists of alpha chains and beta chains okay so here here the alpha chain and the, uh, this both of these alpha chains will be linked with disulfide bond and here also both of the beta chains will be linked with disulfide bonds okay disulfide bonds and in the same way here if you see here the alpha chain is is uh, you know it is coded with chromosome number 6 and here the beta chain will also get coded with chromosome number 15 so here uh, in the same way which i have said you the previously it consists of four regions membrane digital domain membrane proximal domain transmembrane and cytoplasmic tail so why it is said to be a cytoplasmic tail because uh, the region of this uh, the part of this msc class 2 molecule will get inserted into the cytoplasm so cytoplasm region so it is said to be a cytoplasmic tail so here it is transmembrane brain uh, that's nothing but uh, the lipid layer which has been presented over in the cell membrane region is known as transmembrane so here the part of the msc class 2 molecule will be present in the transmembrane region also so here this is the exterior region i mean which is exposed towards the immune system uh, outside the cell outside the cell so here this is this is the only this is the only region of the cell only this will be the region of the cell okay 
so coming to the next if you see here this is a membrane proximal domain region which consists of alpha 2 and beta 2 chain and if you see here membrane digital domain region consists of alpha 1 chain and beta 1 chain okay and if you see here uh, this is about the structure of the msc class 2 molecule so now let us discuss about the major differences between msc class 1 and class 2 molecules so here this peptide binding cleft in the msc class 1 molecule is closed type and the msc mole ms2 molecule is open type so if you see here in the msc class 1 molecule it is closed type and in msc class 2 molecule uh, it is open type okay and the size of that peptide binding cleft is 8 to 10 amino acid combination by the combination of 8 to 10 amino acids the peptide binding cleft will be formed in the msc class 1 molecule and the, by the combination of 12 to 25 amino acids this msc class 2 molecule will be formed and here the antigen binding is endogenous and here the antigen binding is exogenous that's nothing but if you see here in this region the antigen binding takes place so if you see here so if you see here properly uh, this is the uh, this is the zoom region of this antigen presenting cell so normally this is antigen presenting cell and from here msc class molecules will be arranged so if you see in the case in the step 2 process i have said you right these are the ms2 ms class molecules normally this msc class 1 and class 2 molecules depends upon the type of antigen which has been uh, which has been you know which has been inserted from the environment so if you see here like this ms class molecules will be presented towards the cell membrane uh, cell surface region okay and that some and half of the region will be uh, presented towards the environment environment is nothing but environment of immune system okay and here half of the region will be presented in the cytoplasm which includes the cell membrane region also okay inner inner membrane that's nothing but inner membrane okay and here the antigen binding takes place that's nothing but in this region antigen binding takes place which antigen foreign and uh, foreign molecules that's nothing but which i have said you in the definition foreign molecules will get binded over in this region in the same way here also the foreign and molecules will be get binded over so yeah that's what i have said you here the antigen binding is endogenous in the class 1 molecule and exogenous in class 2 molecule and this msc class molecule msc class 1 molecule will be exposed uh, when there is the presence of cd8 plate cells or t cells that's nothing but if you see i have said you before only in this process only i have said you when there is a presence of msc class 1 molecule then only it binds to t cell when there is a presence of msc class 2 molecule then it binds to t helper cells okay and the t cells uh, will release cd8 plus cell receptors cd8 plus cells receptors and if you see here this t t helper cell will release a cd4 plus t cell receptors okay cd4 plus t cell receptors and this alpha chain consists of sorry this alpha chain will get binded with chromosome number 6 and this beta chain will get binded with chromosome number 15 and same applies in the msc class 2 molecule also so this is about the structures of msc class 1 and class 2 and explanation about this msc class msc molecules so uh, this is about the msc major ester compatibility complex and this and this is only the explanation for proper notes uh, you can join us in whatsapp group and the invite link will be given in the description box so if you like this video please do like and subscribe and also share this video to your friends thanks for watching this video please do like and subscribe thank you and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment in the comment box i will clarify your doubts immediately